Story Listen time. To this. I got a story to tell today. So, I'm a landlord. I rent out a lot of properties. And one of my units that I rent out right now is to a particular woman. And she's a cool girl, you know, and she signs the lease, very humble girl. It's her and her two children. I rent the place to them. She's on an assisted program, meaning HUD or Section 8. So I rent the place to her and her two children. She moves in. It's a three-bedroom apartment. All of a sudden, about a week later, the mother moves in. I say, you know what? It's her mom, no problem. Mine is, she's, the mother's not on the lease. But I'm still doing it because of the fact that it's her mom. I say nothing. About two weeks later, the mother's boyfriend moves in. So now you have the mother's boyfriend, you have the mother. They're not supposed to be there. But I say nothing, right? Then, one day I pop up at the house about a couple of weeks later, I gotta fix my basement at the house, at my property. Remind, renting a place, guys, is not your place. Let's have this conversation. A lot of people believe because they rent something, it's not, it's theirs, it's not yours, right? It's mine. So watch this. After I rent the place to him, all of a sudden, the guy pops up, a new, she pops up a new guy. So the lady that I did the lease with has a boyfriend. He moves into the property. Not only does he move in the property, he moves in there with this entitled mentality where he feels like he's this alpha male, right? So he comes up to me the first day, and I don't even notice, man. I come there, knock on the door, your fan. I said, your fan, who, 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 who are you? He's like, I'm the new man of the house. So um, anytime you want to address my woman, just come talk to me. I said, wait, 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 who are you? He says, he says the girl's name. I look at him and I say, so where you live here? He go, yeah. First time I talk to him, first, in, first encounter, I stay humble because I didn't want to argue with the man. You know, so I said, no problem. About where she at, he tells me where she's at. I go talk to him. Now I come back a couple of days later because I'm working on a basement at the place. This man is there again. Super alpha man, because of the first time me being humble, he came running up to me a second time. I told you, when you come over here, make sure you address me because I'm the man of the house. I said, today, you gonna get this work. You gonna get this work because you know why? You barking up the tree with a real man. Because all this biting and barking, and most of the men that bark like that, is soft as cotton candy. Baby, a cub, soft. So I said, now you gonna get real man today. So I said, brother, let me ask you a question. He said, what? I said, what alpha man are you here when you're in a woman section eight assistant situation? You have done nothing. Alpha means leader because you could roar doesn't mean anything. I said, all this energy you're giving towards me is not even unnecess is unnecessary. I said, the reality is you need to grow up. You're this super alpha man, quote unquote. You got your, all this extra energy for me, but you won't even fight a damn bill. You won't even fight a goddamn bill. All you did was find a woman with Section 8 or HUD and move up in a place and you act like you this alpha man. I said, come on, brother. Sit down somewhere. I said, because if you want to play this game, we can play this game. Because legally, you're not even supposed to be here. So you should be quiet as a church mouse if you want to get technical. And I said, bro, come on. Don't walk around here acting like you this alpha man and you ain't done nothing. Alpha means leader. You led yourself to a woman with a, a, a government assistance situation and now you acting like you a man. Humbled him, humbled him. He's like, but you got ain't nobody um, understand nothing. You want to fight something? Go fight a bill. Go fight a bill for your family and put your family in a better position. Because that energy you addressing with me is the wrong person. You should be mad at bills and and Uncle Sam. Because me, I am not Uncle Sam. I'm the person that gave you your family, quote unquote, somewhere to live. So you should have a lot more respect. And again, stop feeling entitled. It's my place. It's not yours. You are is a rental. Meaning, you're leased. You le you hold it for a term. That's all it means. So don't get all caught up in your feelings acting like it's your place. And this is the problem what I'm noticing with a lot of men these days. Very entitled. Finding women to live off of and they think that they're alpha men. Grow the hell up, man. We gotta do better. Hmm. Don't let that go over your head.